Hey everyone, welcome back to the Roboomi channel. Before we move forward, if you don't have seen the previous video, click the i button above and check the link in the description below to learn how to assemble and test four wheel chassis using Arduino and L290 and motor driver. Now in this video, we'll see how to connect all the required components for our firefighting robot. Now this is the part two of the firefighting robot series. For today's part of the project, here's what we will be using: four wheel acrylic chassis already assembled. L290 motor driver Arduino Uno double battery holder from previous video. Now additional component for this part: three flame sensor, one servo motor, one water pump with flexible pipe, one single channel 5 volt relay module, one screwdriver, one small breadboard. We'll mainly using the power rails. Let's start with the further connections. Now all set with the prior connection from part one. Great. Now take the small breadboard, paste the breadboard securely on the chassis. Power the breadboard. Connect the 5 volt pin of the motor driver to the positive and red rail of the breadboard. Connect the GND pin of the motor driver to the negative blue rail of the breadboard. This will power all additional components. Now let's place three flame sensor at the front of the chassis. Center sensor in the middle, left sensor on the left, and the right sensor on the right. Connect each sensor's VCC to the positive rail of the breadboard. Connect each sensor GND to the negative rail of the breadboard. Next, connect the signal pins to Arduino. Connect left sensor analog pin to A0. Connect center sensor analog pin to A3. And right sensor analog pin to A2. Next, place the servo motor at the top front of the chassis. Connect its red wire to 5 volt on Arduino. Connect brown wire to GND on Arduino. Connect signal wire that is orange wire to pin 3 on Arduino. Now, mount the single channel 5 volt relay module on the chassis. Connect its VCC to 5 volt on Arduino. Connect its GND to negative rail of the breadboard. Connect its in to digital pin 7 on Arduino. The relay will control the water pump in the next step. Finally, place the water pump at the rear of the chassis and a single 3.7 volt battery holder. Connect the positive terminal of pump to ALO, normally open terminal of relay. Connect the positive of this 3.7 volt battery holder to the common of relay. And negative terminal of the water pump to the negative of this battery holder. This ensures that when the relay is activated, the pump will turn on to extinguish the fire. Now before moving to part 3, double check all your connections. Make sure all wells are connected correctly according to the circuit diagram. Ensure connections are tight and neat to avoid loose contact during testing. And that's it. All components for the firefighting robot are now connected and ready for the next step. In the next video, we will see how to upload the code, test the robot and observe it in action. If you enjoyed this video, like, share and subscribe so you don't miss the final part of our firefighting robot series. Robo Army. One-stop global community for teens in robotics and AI.